Hello, people of the internet. This is Kaiju Noir. Back again is Pete. I'm back! Yay! After bailing out on me when I had to see After Earth. On your own. I'm sorry I was sick, but I feel so bad. After he after watching your review and looking around doing some more, uh, some more things about the movie, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> it's alright, because now I had you. I had to, you're here to, wa to review the next two movies that we just watched. Yeah. The, well, the first, uh, the first up is the internship, reuniting both Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn for the first time ever, for the first time since Wedding Crashers, was it? I believe so. Now, the story to the internship is that Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson they play two watch salesmen named Billy and Nick. Uh, unfortunately for them, they lose their jobs because apparently nobody buys watches in this universe, which I call BS. I'm wearing a watch <laughs> right now, and they decide, hey, you know, we uh, let's apply for an internship, which could lead to a job at Google. So, of course, they get into a bunch of shenanigans, they form a, an alliance with a certain team, with a certain uh, fellow interns, and eventually they overcome the odds in order to achieve the impossible. <laughs> so, Bas basically, it's kind of like that, what I like to call the Revenge of the Nerd story, where you have a bunch of misfits, they don't work well together, and they eventually come together to overcome the odds against the douchebag rival, rival villains. Your typical feel-good movie. <laughs> yeah, it, did, it, it the ending did definitely have that feel-good moment, you know. Right. So I, I just want to ask you, uh, on a on a basic standard, mm -hmm. how did you feel about the movie? It was very predictable, not quite painfully predictable, but it was some somewhat enjoyable due to the fun-loving nature of our protagonists and the actors portraying them. Right, I, I, I agree. You can definitely tell they're having fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can tell, like, the chemistry between uh, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson was very definitely strong. Right. Uh, I, I like how, how they work off each other. You know, they, they it's, it's fun to see them together. Mm -hmm. um, they, you know, two big names. And they have a couple of big names in the, in the movie itself. Right. The first one that comes to mind is Asif Mandvi, who, who I remember, who I recognized from The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. He's very funny in that, sh in that show. And he's definitely, he definitely stands out in this film. He knows exactly how to be extremely deadpan serious <laughs> and how to be, how to give off um, backhanded remarks. Right, which really works for his character. I mean, he's, you know, the guy, the boss, in that, in, in that sense. The boss that you want to impress. You want, you want to acknowledge your deeds. Right, so let's, let's talk story. Uh, let's see. Well first, off, well, first off, I just want to say, uh, because it's a very predictable story, Another problem with it is that none of the characters aren't really that fleshed out. They're just, they have, it's one of those stories where it's just very one-dimensional characters. Especially the bad guy, the the villain of this. You, uh, oh, absolutely. You have the nerd. You have... The well, in this case, they're all nerds. <laughs> Some more than... You have, you have, like, specific types of nerds. Or, like, you know, very specific, easily stereotypes that you can just pick out, pick them out. You like, know? the hipster... Who spends all his time on his phone? The Asian, the hard, the over, the hardworking Asian with overbearing parents, the uh, cosplay girl, the do, the nerd who tries to talk hip hop slang, the nerd of the nerds, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you have the, the like I said, the uh, the rival, the main rival, the villain who is he's basically a dick just for the sake of being a dick. Mm -hmm. Now, throughout the movie, they're competing with different groups, right? Right, and not a single one of them gets uh, the spotlight. No one, not even anyone in his group except for the fat, <laughs> the fat kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, it's the villain and just the villain, or the antagonist, because he's, he's just a, kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's him and just him, really, when it comes to uh, anta major antagonists in the movie. And... You, you... And speaking of antagonists, it seems like everybody in this movie is a complete dick 
to <laughs> oh, uh, to Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn. They are. They are. I mean, the groupies paired with you know they do have you know of course you know it's that feel good movie. There, it's character progression, but it's very you know generic, very basic. They go from being dicks to like. Oh yeah, now we're all buddy buddy, we're all gonna get along, but throughout the whole movie, you know, everyone. Mm-hmm. Everyone. <laughs> it's just, everyone just is just a, has a complete sour mood throughout the throughout the whole movie. They just like as soon as they see these two characters, they just roll their eyes and go, Ugh, what are you doing here? You're so old. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what a computer is? That's actually something that bothered me about the characters, that they had, like, little to no knowledge of computers. Mm-hmm. I mean, even even as 30 or 40-year-olds, I'm pretty sure most people know, you know, basic functions on a computer. <laughs> and I feel like if... And I know it's a movie, but, I mean, you're there for an inter- internship at Google. Mm-hmm. The, what they know is so little, and they're going... They're, they, they get the internship solely based off, you know, give us a chance. You know, we're here... We're, we've struggled, so why don't you just give us a chance, you know? Mm-hmm. And they, they little, know little to nothing, and in the movie, they study, and they learn, but I, I, I don't think that's the kind of, you know, things you can just learn uh, so quickly, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of just a, a little nitpick that, bo- that bothered me uh, with the movie, that no one really cares that they don't know anything about computers. <laughs> That is one thing that I did like, sort of liked about the film is that these two guys are salesmen and they really sell you the idea that they are salesmen <laughs> by selling you a performance of how well they can sell a pitch. Okay, I just, I work in sales and I can tell you half of the things that, I know it's a movie again and it's, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a joke, but I'm like, half of that stuff would not work. I guarantee it. But again, I know it's a movie and you know, you know. It's 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 part of the joke. <laughs> yeah, it's like the whole point. It, that's pretty much like one joke throughout this whole movie is that two guys who know nothing about computers are trying to get a job at Google, mm-hmm. and all they can rely on is their salesman uh, abilities. Abilities, right? So we've talked about uh, n- uh, the characters of Nick and Billy. What do you think about the other, the rest of their group? Uh, their group. I know we kind of like. <laughs> uh, basi- we basically summarized each one of their, uh, each and every one of their character traits. Overall, I, st- I still think they're very one dimensional. But in a, in the movie, you know, they somewhat work. The one character I did not like was the hipster nerd. I mean, he in like from the very beginning, he just doesn't want to be there. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I don't get the, get the reason why he's at an internship at Google. He it does not seem like he wants to be there. He doesn't want to participate. He's very you know like sarcastic and you know gives you know uh, remarks, but um, near the end his character changes. But uh, there's just parts where I see he's it's like he should, he shouldn't even be, be there in the first place. Right. I mean, if you're gonna be so antisocial, why are you trying to get a job at Google where that involves interacting with? The uh, whole with that hundreds of people at one of the m- biggest <laughs> companies in the world. It didn't even look like he wanted the job. I mean, there's there's a scene, you know, where where you know there's a big uh, big company, you know, they do mm-hmm. competitions, and he's just on his phone, you know, looking <laughs> like, at his phone. <laughs> really, are you looking at your phone while you're trying to get a a full time job? Exactly. It's like, okay, why are you even here? That 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 character trait. Did not work well with the movie. Because, I mean, here you see, like, you know, everyone else is kind of worried they really want the job. But here he is, like, oh, la da 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 why am I here? And yet he has the gall to criticize everyone else. Exactly. <laughs> well, I did like that one character who was um, the girl who said, who was into cosplay, I guess, and all sorts of, I guess, uh, geeky properties, I guess, like Star Wars or anime and such. I mean, she felt like the most... Uh, grounded character, like the most, the one who actually felt like oh, the closest to a character that cl- that felt the closest to being a real character, to being an actual human. Yes, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I definitely. Sorry, go ahead. I, I just want to say I definitely agree with you on that. I mean, like she's she didn't really feel as cartoonish as the other characters. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so when um in this movie, um Nick he um pursues a. Rom- uh, romantic relationship with one of the employees at Google, which is sort of which is a running subplot throughout the movie. So, what were your thoughts on that? I, I saw the girl. I, I saw I saw Owen Wilson stare at a girl. Love interest. 
That's all that needs to be said. <laughs> yeah, you, you you know you pretty much summar, uh, uh, summarized my thoughts right there. You uh, as soon as you see oh you say oh, okay, so this is gonna be a thing now. It's it's immediately noticeable. There's like, you know, no, there's there's. It's 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 not even hard to guess. It's not, you don't have to put things together. You just know, you know. It's, it's you just know that she's all of interest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that 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 kind of irked me a bit. She's like she's um, one of those characters, like I mentioned before. Everyone in this movie is a complete jerk, and she is just as cold hearted as everyone else in this movie. And like everyone else in this movie, she starts to warm up to the main protagonists. And eventually, she becomes a more human char- a more human character. That being said, she still felt like a rather one-dimensional character. So, in terms of scenes, were there any in particular that stuck out to you? Um, the beginning actually it, it started out very strange. It's just Owen Wilson and uh, Vince Vaughn singing really strangely. That's that's one thing in the movie. There's no, a lot come of, on, like you don't do that. I sure as hell do. Not to that extent, but there's that's one thing I noticed with this movie. There's there's a lot of babbling, b- b- babbling this back and forth, back and forth, bab- babbling. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna have to agree with you there. Uh, they they uh, because they're salesmen, they're like they feel like they con- feels like they constantly need to talk. They can't let one second go without a word being said. And I mean, half the time, <laughs> I I know it's for a joke, but again, it doesn't really pertain or make sense all, all the time. It's just they it's babbling for sake of babbling, <laughs> just talking for the sake of talking. And it can be funny at sometimes, but it's. In this movie, a lot. I actually enjoyed whenever they were um, constantly running their mouths. Although there was at uh, least uh, one, the one or two moments in the movie where I w- in my head I was thinking to myself, "Shut up!" Exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, I think the only other moment that stood out for me was again in the beginning. Um, the sudden, you know, lot. Um, at a, what was it? Uh, the sudden out of a job, out of jobs. Mm-hmm. I thought that was surprising because I thought they were good salesmen. So yeah, I understand that they're out of jobs. But then you find Vince Vaughn's character in debt, very broke. But you know, it, from the very beginning, it sounds like he's he's a pretty good salesman. At least yeah. that's what I got from it. Can he work at a car dealership? Yeah, actually, that's another that's another gripe. You know, the way he decides to get the Google internship, he just stares at a Google screen. Like he 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 attempts to find like he uh, attempts to find other jobs, but. He just gives up after two tries. After two tries, he's like, Google. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> like, hmm. I can, f- I can actually spend actually more than two minutes looking for a job. Or Google. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's just... <laughs> it's just an email. How about you? Any uh, big scenes that... I, I really like the scene where they all went out on the night on, night of, on the town... I don't know, it's that cliche uh, moment where the characters, they don't like each other, but then there's that one defining moment that unite, that starts to unite them all together. The let's get loose with it. <laughs> exactly. And they end up going to this, uh, what was it, a stri- uh, strip club, <laughs> and uh, hilarity ensues. It, it was, I have to admit, that that part was actually funny. I, I, I wasn't tearing my hair out for, uh, for a bit there, but you know, that part was had some good times. This may be a, uh, a very petty complaint, but the f- in this this movie's uh, PG-13, am I right? Yes. Throughout the film, I thought this was an R-rated movie, since they were constantly swearing at um, at, in, at least once per scene. So when I, they when they came to these uh, to the strip club, I actually thought there was going to be uh, nudity in this film. But that's when I actually looked on my phone. I was like, "Oh, this is PG thirteen, huh?" <laughs> then what the heck was up with all the swearing? <laughs> so I'm guessing you were looking forward to the nudity. Well, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> but I was just I was just perplexed because, at, like I said, at that point, I thought this was an R this was an R rated movie. Uh-huh. So like, why 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 not just go the the you know the full the full step ahead? And that kind of what irks me about the rating system is that they're very the whoever um, eventually gives the final ratings on these movies, their standards are all over the place. Mm-hmm. You can have a movie with, let's say, one f bomb. And they can get away with it. And then there's another movie that has uh, like maybe three, and that's an R-rated. That's R. But then you have this movie where it's like here and there, in several places, and still PG-13. You know, <laughs> there's no 
actual there's no actual rules for why for for rating a movie there should be something like that. It's like, okay, if this movie gets at least two F-bombs, that's an automatic R. <laughs> you know, there it needs to be something more strict. I feel like it needs to be more strict rather than being all loose with it. I, I, I definitely understand what you mean. So what are your final thoughts, Pete? Personally, I, I, I kind of like this movie. Of like, I, a deep part of me feels like I shut it. I actually kind of like it so I, I, I feel kind of bad about on my own of, of, of myself um but as a rating i'd have to give it a, a two-star rating mm-hmm. um i don't think this is a movie worth watching in the theaters if you catch it on tv it's kind of a fun experience i'd, I'd watch it on tv uh, maybe rent it but not something that's worth watching on the big screen how about you uh, this movie has several problems, especially with its overall story. Like I said, it's very cliche, very predictable. We were actually discussing two weeks ago exactly how this movie was going to play out. Oh my god! And every <laughs> single plot point that we guessed happened in this movie. Absolutely, freaking lootly. That is beyond true. And it was a funny thing uh, we probably should have mentioned at the beginning of this review... This uh, movie had a trailer that played at every single move before every single movie we watched so far um, so far this year and uh, myself movies I watched back in uh, November and December. It's been playing and playing, and I feel like this movie got a lot of hype. Do you remember how empty the theater was? <laughs> of course. Oh my God! Another thing we should have mentioned. <laughs> uh, apparently, everyone wanted to see The Purge today because when you and I went to the uh, to the uh, the the room that was to the room where the film was being screened, we were the only two there. It was empty. We literally took pictures of how empty it was. Right. Like, the moment we, we walked in, I'm like, oh my god, I'm a sucker. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> now, eventually, around like by the time the trailers were over, there were at least like six more people that walked in. But still, that's a huge theater for just only. Eight people. And this was opening night. Yes, we are. Um, in case you, uh, the audience doesn't do not know, we um tend to go to the midnight premieres of every film we watch. So as our so we can be so we are so that we can be able to put out reviews as fast as we can. So to have a midnight premiere with such an abysmal attendant with such an abysmal attendance is you know. I don't know, it kind of sends a strange <laughs> message, you know? Yeah. I, you have a movie that's, like, advertised that much, only to have, you know, such a, a disappointing showing. <laughs> I'm, I'm Now I'm curious to know how this film will do in at, in the box office. We'll see in time. Um, again, like you said, uh, every, uh, like uh, the question they all asked was, are you guys here for The Purge? No! <laughs> We're here for the internship! <sighs> yeah, fantastic. So, anyways, back to uh, my thoughts. Uh, as I said, very cl- very cliche, uh, very predictable. However, I did like it for the most part. Um, I liked Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson's characters. They were very fun to watch. I actually got a. I actually enjoyed the uh, the the supporting cast to a certain extent did not like the um did not like the main antagonist of the film however it was the supporting cast especially Asif Mandvi uh who that were able to make this a decent experience for me so i'm going to have to give it a 3 out of 5 it's not it's no it's not pain it's not painful it's not painful to sit through it's not going to do you any harm it's just another feel good movie that's okay. Would you watch it? At, would you recommend watching it in theaters? For movies that I rate a three, that's pretty much to me an automatic rental or watch watch it once and you're done with. Sounds good. So those are our thoughts on the internship. Until next time, everybody. Take care. See you guys next time. And by the way, I freaking hate Lyle. Hey guys, pound me. Hate that kid. God damn. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna I'm probably gonna leave that in.